Hello everybody, my name is Captain Fructose and welcome to Space Engineers. Today we're doing another ship review, which I've gotten a lot of people that are asking me for more ship reviews, so here's another one for you. Just to kind of give you a little bit of a break from all of the uh, Fallout 4 I've been uploading. So this ship that we're reviewing, this is called the Saurian Dynamics Orbital Landing Craft. And it does work in vanilla Space Engineers, you don't need any mods for it. Uh, it's created by the Churosaur and Whiplash141. It's on the Steam see, eh, Steam Workshop, so you can find talk today. And it's got all kinds of cool little features. So, for some reason though, it seems to have a psychological need to tilt down, so facing down, which is a bit strange. But, we'll, we'll just work with what we've got here. So, uh, so the biggest thing I like on this is the actual gate that folds down. There we go. There it goes. Okay. So this front gate, just like a, nor like a landing craft in like World War II or something, it does fold down to allow you to unload stuff. Unfortunately, this uh, lander itself is not designed to be used like on the planets. It works in like in low atmospheric conditions. That's why it's got, you can see the atmospheric thrusters. So it works up higher in the atmosphere where say like the ion thrusters are gonna be less effective. But it's mainly designed for landing on like moons and stuff like that. However, we will try and land it on the planet today as because we're gonna crash it, so. But yes, that does, uh, that does lower down so that you can unload your craft, your vehicles. It does also work with spaceships, obviously. You can actually... Now, what I really like about their uh, bay here is all of these different connectors they've got. So you can connect your ship no matter... Well, almost no matter how it's set up. There's tons of docking all over the place with customizable things to connect it to the storage tanks, storage stuff. Uh, all kinds of conveyors that go everywhere. Uh, it's equipped with arms. Oh, where they? Oh, there they are. Armaments. Sorry, not arms. Armaments. So it's got turrets and stuff like that for self-defense. Obviously, it's not super heavily armored because it's not designed to be a battlecraft. Uh oh, and it's starting to slide down towards the planet. So, which is about perfect timing actually, because it does for the crew and everything on the inside. It is pressurized. There is an airlock, but I keep. For some reason, there is a slight glitch when you get out of the driver's seat of the ship. It can cause you to pop up outside. So let me, yeah, okay, Oop, maybe, there we go. Alright, so yeah, there's place a pressurized place for the crew, computers, buttons. These turn like lights on and off on the interior, so there we go. So it turn lights on and off and stuff like that. So here's the passenger seat. So from here, or the co-pilot seat. Sorry, not the passenger seat. Co-pilot seat. So what you've got here is like your ammo summary, system power, reactors, hydrogen tanks, oxygen tanks. Whoa, what the? That was weird. And all your connectors. So that's what all of these screens here show you, which is really cool. Whoops, did not mean to turn that on. So we'll hop out. And yeah, like I was saying, it does tend to spit you out sometimes. Whoa, hello. My, my dampers are off. Oh dear, which is probably a good thing. Because <laughs> this thing's starting to slide towards the planet pretty quick. So let's just go ahead and hop back in here, repressurize it, and then we'll hop in the pilot seat. So that's pretty much everything on the ship. It's not super huge or complicated, which I really like because I get confused really easily. Okay, let's pivot this thing up a little bit. There we go. Meteor storm That's inbound. better. Oh, we've got a meteor storm incoming, so we better do this quick. So, you've got, I love the screen setup they've got, so it shows you like your pitch, your tilt, and all of that stuff, your, and the bearing, like which way you're facing on the left-hand screen. All that's really cool. And yeah, that's pretty much everything to the ship itself. It's very well designed, and these guys did a great job. A lot better than anything I built. I'm still trying to figure this game out. So, <laughs> there's so much complicated stuff you can do with this. I'm still trying to figure all of this out. But, to the guys that made it, you guys did a great job. I love the ship, love the design, and it's it's really cool. I could see playing with this. I could see myself playing with, it, with this. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. But I can see myself playing with this. It does have hydrogen thrusters on the sides. Um, those help it. It gives it about half a million tons of, uh oh, 
lifting capacity, I think something just glitched and exploded. Oh, that's not good. Am I moving? Negative. I don't know what that front thing is deciding it's doing. Yeah, the, the rotors and moving parts on these are still a little bit glitchy, so we may lose that before we get too far into the atmosphere, but as I promised earlier, we are going to crash it. Let me zoom out here. There we go. It's a very nice looking carrier too. I really like it. So we're going to head down to the planet and crash this thing. All right, here we go, guys. We're coming in about 390 meters a second, so there's no way I'm going to be able to slow down. That's okay, though, because we don't want to slow down because we want to crash this. So here goes nothing. We're going to go ahead and ram this into the ground at extremely high speeds. <laughs> way over what it should be. We are going 430 meters per second right now. I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. It's not going to make any difference, though. We're still going to crash and die. There's no way this thing's going to be able to slow down in time. We're coming down way too fast. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh, what happened? What the freak? Okay, well, apparently God Mode or something is on because it is not broken. Well, unfortunately, guys, it looks like there's not a way for me to turn the damage back on at the moment. So I will keep working on that, and I will eventually bring you a video of this exploding, crashing, and all sorts of maiming, destructiveness of this poor ship. However, unfortunately, it looks like it is just going to be a review this time. I'm sorry, guys. But we will crash it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. If And don't forget to check out my other ones. I've got a few other review videos of ships on Space Engineers. So go, make sure you go to my channel and check those out. Those ones we are actually able to crash. So they're a little more exciting than this one was. But hey, if you enjoyed the review, you like the ship and everything, leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.